So let's talk about a Category 3 hurricane. It could cause power outages for weeks. And industry experts warn Laura poses the biggest threat to U.S. energy since Katrina. Here in Jacksonville, down south and across the country are now gearing up to respond to this threat. News for Jack's reporter Brittany Muller is live at JEA's West Side Service Center. And Brittany, this is one of the spots where crews will roll out to head in that direction later today. Mel Bruce, good morning. JEA crews are expected to leave from Jacksonville at 1 p.m. to head west. 31 crew members will be leaving from this location on the west side, as well as JEA's Southside Service Center, and will head to Lafayette, Louisiana, to help utility crews there following Marco and Laura. This will be JEA's second out-of-state deployment this month. The utility shared this video of crews in Westchester County in New York following Tropical Storm Isaias. Crews helped restore power to 5,000 customers before returning home. They are no stranger to this kind of work. This is video of crews leaving Jacksonville after Hurricane Michael to help some of the hardest hit areas in the panhandle. This year, COVID-19 is a concern, so crews will be wearing masks, social distancing, sanitizing vehicles and equipment daily, limiting the number of workers in spaces, providing each crew member with their own truck and screening for for COVID-19 symptoms. Florida Power and Light is also sending crews to the Gulf Coast at a first wave of 300 workers and contractors left yesterday morning. They are expected to arrive today. JEA says crew restoration efforts will begin tomorrow following Hurricane Laura's passage and Georgia Power says it has not received any requests to help aid in those efforts just yet. But if it does receive those calls, it says it's ready to roll out immediately. Reporting live this morning from the West Side, Brittany Muller, Channel 4, the local station.